Hello and welcome to the Tuesday edition of DC Today. It's a short one today, although not because it was such an uneventful day in markets. Markets were actually hit pretty hard. And the reason was, I mean, it was already a down day, so I don't want to overthink this. You know how I feel about trying to speculate on exact reasoning. But there, but you can tell when bond yields moved higher, it was when the JOLTS data came out. And that's the job openings report that where you get the data on uh, how many jobs are open that have not been filled? It's sort of the inverse of people looking for jobs and don't have one. That's the BOS data, Bureau of Labor Statistics, what we think of as the monthly jobs report. The job openings is sort of on the employer side. Think of it this way. The jolts is like the supply side and the BOS is like the demand side. That's, I just made that up right now, but I think it's accurate. It has the, the jolts data and usually comes with a quit rate. You can tell how many people have quit a job to go to another one, things like that. And so you would think in Dave land that um, less jobs open is a good thing because we like the idea of employers having their needs met and we like the idea of needs being met for workers by them finding a job. So a lot of openings of a job. I, I don't know how really to say this. The number went higher and the bond yields flew up. Um, and, and so I think it was 8.9 million expected. It was 8.9 last month and it, and it went to 9.6. Now, in theory, I would think that seems like a bad thing. Um, there's others who think it's a good thing or it points to low, uh, a lot of slack, which means that there will be continued low unemployment. And, and that, that their interpretation of what's bad about it is the belief that we need a lot of people to lose their job for the Fed to cut rates. I um, have no comment on that uh, utter insanity, but I do think that's the way markets are viewing it, yeah, that, or viewing the, the way they view other people viewing it, if you will. I would only say this. Um, I think we're getting closer to a point of capitulation. I will note that bond yields, like the 10-year was up 11 basis points today, and as bond yields have gone higher, utilities have been what got slammed, and yet utilities are the only sector up today. So I think there's some internal positioning and, and whatnot that might indicate a capitulation is near. But you know how I feel about trying to time that. What I will say is this. I, I, the JOLTS data is, is not super reliable month over month. And maybe the BLS data comes out on uh, Friday and points to something a little different. The ADP and BLS data are frequently not in sync with each other. That's the private payrolls versus the total unemployment report from the Labor Department. So there's, there's not always total um, congruence between different reports and, and data sets. But I think that's basically the story is we already have had big upward pressure on bond yields for reasons I talked about yesterday. That's put downward pressure on equity prices. And today the bond yields went even higher, the 10 year getting up near 4.8% around 4.7 and change. And doing so as a result of people believing that there's more job openings and, and less people that are unemployed. You know, we want more unemployed people. That's the thinking here. It's, it's a weird world we live in. So all that to say, the Dow was down 431 points. It had been down 520. It made back 90 points, not much in the last half hour of trading. Um, the top performing sector, as I said, was utilities. The worst was consumer discretionary, down 2.6%. A real 2022 type day today. NASDAQ down 1.87%. The Dow down one percent Two nine, um, a little better picture with a lot of dividend growth stuff, only down about seventy basis points. But be that as it may, uh, a down day. Um, okay, big uh, client report coming tomorrow morning on uh, Q3's portfolio activity. Uh, Brian, so I, I have a, asked David in the DC Today today about preferreds. If anyone's interested in that, Brian Seitel will bring you the DC Today tomorrow, as I'll be doing just an in and out uh, trip for an afternoon speaking engagement tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading the DC Today. Mm -hmm.